Every single last. Like You're not going to find a campsite or anything in Paris, are we? It's only two hours and fifty minutes. Really? But we, need to, to but we still need to stay in Calais. We need to stay in Calais that night to get the early ferry, don't we? Yeah, we could do that. It's what is it you're talking about this morning? Possibly going to Paris. What? He suggests <laughs> things and they will happen. Well, he suggested going to Venice, and where did we go yesterday? Venice. Well, we've got a couple of extra days, haven't we? We've sort of gained a couple of extra days. Are we so, just going to go to Paris? Well, we should do, yeah. My God. And we have to kind of work our way up, really, without doing it all in one big go, I think. That would be really we exciting. We the extra days to do a bit of a hopover. Even a stopover. I don't know what a hopover is. But I like it. Hop over, if you like. We'll hop over to Paris. I can speak. I can oh, speak the language. Oh, How oh, easy will that we be? We can park like outside of my like a municipal or something outside of Paris, yeah. but like near to a we train station metro. where we could get the. Oh the my metro. god! Get the metro and Let's do it. Cut a Django restaurant. Oh my god! We could see like oh Paul god. McCartney. Paul McCartney's new um, museum thing just opened up in Paris as well. Oh my god! Let's just go to Paris. Mm. Right. Let's finish Italy first. I'm yeah. Bothered about getting a baguette. <laughs> So our Venice sticker is going on. We wanted it here, but it's too wide. So it is going there. I hope it stays there. Venice. Oh, the heat today, man. We're leaving Aladdin camp now and we're off to Lake Garda. This has been a good one. Isn't I it? would highly recommend this campsite. It's this, lovely. Yeah. Really friendly staff. Hashtag we love Aladdin camp. First time in an Italian supermarket. It's a hypermarket. Look at all of this. Emilia. And it's like massive bottles of And then here's like our normal bottles of this. <laughs> normal. Weak. Well, that's small here. You're feeling very weak. No, they're like 10 Oh, they're very 10%, weak. That's oh, just, yeah. Nothing below it. Children. Is, is this alcohol for children? <laughs> We've arrived at Lake Garda, and there are mountains, and there's the lake, and there's so many people just in their swimming stuff. There are people in the water. And we just, I saw, I just saw oh some people God. in the water. Look, there are vans in there. Maybe we can get in this one. Um, just keep going until you see an entrance. We just want to be in the water. Just stopped in this cute little town, had a coffee, had some watermelon that we bought. There's nowhere here you can even dunk your feet in the lake, unfortunately. So we're going to carry on up to what's it called? Oh. Oh. Look up. Oh my god, that's What's it called? Where are we going? Riva de la Garda. Riva de la Garda. North side of the Lake Garda. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go and try and get somewhere for the night and have a dunk if possible. We do have a dunk. Dunk will be good. Oh, look at those mountains. I missed you mountains. Oh, 34 degrees at five o'clock. Thank goodness we have air con. Oh. Right, we've finally made it to one little, one little lake beach and the girls are in. It's only like half past six at night. But at least the sun has gone behind the clouds now so it's not beating down on us. But it's been so hot today. Almost unbearable, I have to say. Now we just need to find somewhere to sleep after this. The inn, Ruby has fulfilled her swimming in a lake. Goal. And he's going in. Yeah. He's going in. There he's in. 
He's in. <laughs> about that for a spin setting. There she goes. Now at least I can say she's swum in Lake Garda. Beautiful. Look at that for a bad drop. Underneath the mountains, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Luigi passing by. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Try and do it again tomorrow. Yes. We all swam in the lake. We all swam in the lake. We've got an idea of a part for night. Up, 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 up into the mountains a little bit. And um, it's an 80 minute drive, so fingers crossed it works out okay. Tell us cost. We're getting hungry. So this is the place that was on the part for night app, this car park here. And we drove all the way up into the mountains, 20 minutes up here. And these little barriers, there was a string going across here. And it was all closed up and the restaurants all closed today. And we were like, oh, so we drove all the way up this windy road and turned around in a tight little corner at the top there. And then as we were coming back down, there was another camper van here and we backed up so, to let them pass because we knew they wouldn't, they'd have to come up and there was a passing point. And we waited and waited and they didn't come. And I said, how about if they've, imagine if they've like knocked on the door and got in there. So we drove down and sure enough, they were in the car park and that's them there. They were in the car park, weren't they, little? And the guy who runs the restaurant was here. And he said, he doesn't speak a word of English and we don't speak a word of Italian, but so between nice. us, we managed to understand that, yeah, yeah, it's fine to stay the night, 10 euros. And he just kept putting his hands over his eyes as if to say, I see nothing, I see nothing. So, so it looks like we're here. He's still over there talking to the other guys, so I'm not really sure what he's saying. Though. Okay, we are settled. What he's starting to make a spag bowl. As we're in Italy, of course. <laughs> Out here, Lily is reading. And Ruby. I'm learning Italian on Duolingo. Right, we're only here for another like three days, but four I days. know, but I want to move for when I'm older. Because I'm in Italian, so they let like me. You've, you've, as we've been driving along today, you've just been going, this is where I want to live, this is where I want to yeah. live. Yes. Show us what you know then. Everywhere we go. Um, yeah, but this is different. Oh, I can feel it in my gut. Why is it in your gut, Ruby? Tell us about your Italian heritage. I am one eighth Italian. What? I may not see much, but. What percentage? 12.5. 12. 12.5. 12. Why? That's half of 25. I'm half of a quarter. Why are you, why are you one eighth Italian? Because you're a quarter. And my grandma's a ha. Yeah. And my great grandparents. Great granddad. Granddad was Italian. Yeah. So, you know. Somewhere out there, there's a whole Italian family that we don't know about. And no who knows? We but may. Unless you didn't have but any other children. We may have bumped but into one today somewhere. Bats. Unless you didn't have any more children, it just died in the war. All that, yeah. I just. Bats. Did you see bats? Oh. Mm -hmm. um, tell us what you can say then. Um, <laughs> ciao. Ciao. Uh, io sono Ruby. Io sono di Nishinabat. That means, hi, I'm Ruby. I'm from Nishinabat. Oh, darling, you're practically bilingual. I, I can see the Italian in you. Your dark hair and your dark brown eyes and your... Oh, the hazel. <laughs> the hazel, actually. Do you not see the green? <laughs> you're so Italian.